This should have been episode one. Part one. Ohm's Law. Resistance times I. Current amperage. Resistance times amperage equals U. Voltage. Volts equals resistance times amps. That's the one that will determine the length or the power that we can put to these uh, uh, elements. Uh, and I already figured out I had too much power going to that element in the back at 850 watts. So I bucked it down to 510. And I'll get the number. I'll show you the numbers in a minute. Um, so now I bumped this up to 240 volts because it's rated at 240 volts. And when you go through this formula, it, we're, it's much better off at the higher voltage. It's, that's what it's uh, designed for. So anyways, the rest of this is all good information. Any of you that know algebra know these little formulas and how this all works. You know, P is power divided by R resistance, that's in parentheses. So you do that first and then you divide that in half. That would be this formula. And so following up on that Ohm's law, and this element specifications that we have on this bracket, The element tells us it's got 2,350, it can handle 2,350 watts at 240 volts. Well, I did used to use part of Ohm's law, which is voltage times amperage equals wattage. That's about the only one I ever, I've been using for years. So voltage times amperage equals wattage with that. I came up with 9.79 .9 amps with these figures here. So 9.79 .9 amps. The resistance of that element is 25.5 ohms. So volts equals resistance 25.5 times amps 9.79. That's the formula, resistance times amps equals volts. So that those numbers came out to be 25.5 times 9.79, 249.645 volts. Well, that's just a little over the 240 volt specification. That sounds about right, doesn't it? I'd say that's exactly right. So, again, using Ohm's law, when I'm running that element on 120 volts, like I like I have been, test one. The resistance measures at 25.5 ohms. So when I do the math, I get I come up with 4.7 amps. You take that 4.7 amps, multiply it by the 120 volts, and you get 564 watts maximum. I had it running at 850, <laughs> and it was getting uh, really hot, but it'll even get hotter with the correct voltage. So now I, I bucked it down to 510, it just so happens my uh, solar panels work up to where I can get 510. So it should be fine now, 